Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this week's video, we are going to be talking about my Montclair winter jacket collection. And before I started it, I actually didn't think warmth and style was achievable. But yes, you can have it all sometimes. I was at the Hermes store and I got my Balenciagas. The brand is relatively new to me. I actually personally don't watch a lot of fashion girls that talk about Montclair. I hear like rappers talk about it like occasionally and I'm just like, okay, all right. <laughs> but I feel like the styles that they go after aren't really the styles that I go for. Um, and the brand is like really vast. I feel like there's something for everyone. If I describe my collection, it has its basics but it has its like cute fashion pieces too. And like one of the key essentials to me too wasn't just style, was the fact that their jackets are a lot lighter weight than like a lot of other brands. Like I've, I've never had a Canada Goose, I've never had a Moose Knuckle or like a lot of other brands, but I know those jackets are super heavy. And these are just like featherweight. I think it's just the type of down that they use. Lightweight, warm, and stylish. That's the main reason why I got into the brand. Okay, I have my little notes here if I look down from time to time. I'm going to go through my jackets and my winter accessories from Montclair and I'm going to be talking about describe it, I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons, the sizing, um, the fit, the pricing, what I would rate the item and then also on top of that how I style it as well. Let us start off with the mocha jacket. This was the first Montclair winter jacket that I picked up. I really wanted to start off with something basic and easy and like good for like every single day, no fuss. Um, this mocha jacket is a part of like their core classic collection, so you're going to see it every single year. There are some other pieces, like fashion pieces that are just like seasonal that you're only going to see that year. But essentially the mocha is one of their longer kind of like parka styles. Um, it has their classic kind of shiny finish for the nylon, a central zip <laughs> that runs all the way down to the bottom. And what's nice is a lot of their zippers um, can run back up. So if you're ever sitting down, you can zip it back up so you have like leg room. A pocket on the arm with the logo. It also has a removable hood, which is so nice. I actually prefer the look of this jacket without the hood. It's just still good to have. <laughs> just in case it's like really cold. It features like a slim fit, but it slightly A-lines out. I think it hits around my knee or a little bit longer and I'm 5'7". Simple piece and like a good go-to like for a first like winter jacket from them. Um, they do have a shorter jacket that's very similar to this and it's called the Batty. It also has a slim fit. And then the men's equivalent would be like a more oversized bomber called the Maya, so. Those are also some other good um, basic jackets to start off with as well too. Essentially, I like the mocha for a, a sporty, easy, everyday look. So the mocha, I'm going to be styling with like leggings and long sleeve crop tops and sneakers and just errand outfits. Because of the slimmer fit and the sizing of it, it's not really a jacket that I can wear with thick and oversized sweaters it is a slimmer cut i feel like you should probably go for an oversized jacket from them if you plan on layering with like heavy sweaters or go up a few sizes and now that i mentioned the sizing i made an error across the board from montclair i will wear a size 2 which is like a u.s medium or a french 40 or an italian 42 or 44 Something like that. Now, at the time, it was like winter and I wanted a jacket and they were sold out of my size. And I'm like, you know what? I can fit into the size one because my waist is like pretty small. I'm like, let me just do the size one. And the size one zips up, but I regret it because I wish I got the two because the sleeves would have been a little bit longer. It's tight on my bust. And in the size two, I probably wouldn't be able to fit a full on hoodie, but I could fit a thicker sweater and I would be a lot more comfortable. So, don't be like me. I normally will always recommend you sizing up in everything. If you normally wear a size small in clothes, go up to a size medium or a size two um, in your like winter jacket, just so you have room to layer and do whatever you need to. Learn from my mistake with this. I can still wear it, but like around my chest, sometimes I'll unzip because where it's tight around my chest, I'm starting to get down poking through the nylon a little bit just ever so slightly pretty much with all my winter jackets from them having down or feathers come out is not really a problem it's mainly just across the chest here because your girl got the wrong size so <laughs> i kind of blame myself for that 
Ultimately, some pros for this jacket is the fact that it's easy, everyday throw on. It pretty much goes with any outfit. You really could dress it up if you wanted to. I find when you take off the hood, it's a little bit more dressy. To be honest, I don't have a con for this. It's only my own personal fault that I got the wrong size. So that could be a con, but like not really towards the brand. I think the mocha jacket is a really good go-to easy for like one of your first winter jackets or if you're just looking for something simple. In terms of the pricing, I think I got this in 2018 um, and the price it was going for, I think it was going for about $1,400 or $1,500. The company usually will have price increases like most luxury brands do. Um, so at the moment, it is going for about $1,700. So. These jackets are kind of an investment in themselves. Like, you really could sell them after and, like, maybe not make a profit, but, like, sell them and, and, and have them go to a good home. But be careful with buying and selling these jackets. I've heard crazy stories on, like, the secondhand market, like, for fakes and stuff. I don't think I'll be selling any of these jackets anytime soon, to be honest. Like, they all fulfill a purpose in my wardrobe. But follow me. You never know. You never know what might happen. I would rate this jacket a 7 out of 10 and you're probably like that's kind of low <laughs> considering that you had like no cons for the jacket but the jacket itself doesn't really wow me and I feel like after this jacket after I bought this first jacket I wanted to be wowed because like the company has some really really nice pieces so 7 out of 10 because it does the job there's nothing wrong with it but it knocks off some points because it doesn't wow me it just doesn't make me go, ooh, ah. And if you're someone simple, you just want something easy, it might be a 10 out of 10 for you. It really might be. The next jacket I have is something that wows me. Like, it makes me... I just really love, like, putting outfits together, if you have a guess. It just... It makes me feel happy. And it's nice that I can actually put together fits that I like in the wintertime and still feel warm. So this next jacket is a new piece that Montclair did for 2020 this year. This one here is called the Logo Deck. Um, I really wanted a short bomber jacket this year because I didn't have that in my collection yet. And I wanted it to be more like a fashion piece. Cute, fashionable outfit and then throw this on top and it actually flows. Or I could be casual with it, with sweats, and throw this on and it's still a look. like. I, I love everything about this jacket. At first I was a little worried about not having a hood um, because whenever it gets like really gusty or windy it's good to like just pop one over or like I don't want my hair to get messed up but I prefer the look of a standing collar. I just think it looks... I just think it looks nicer. So again this jacket features the shiny nylon finish and if you're not someone who is a fan of that because at first I actually didn't like it, it actually grew on me um, the company has like a lot of other matte styles as well too, so you can definitely look into that. But this nylon is like what they're really known for. It has that glossy nylon finish across the chest and then it goes into this faux fur detailing along the stomach and the arms. And this feels so soft. If you followed me for a bit now, I have this Sandro faux fur jacket and it feels the exact same way. Like this is amazing. It features the all black out logo which i liked that because just sometimes when you have a fashion piece you don't need to blare out and tell the whole world like where it's from okay like if they see and they notice then they notice hidden invisible zip pockets it's really only unless you open it up you'll see it on this side like as it's closed you barely see the pocket i like that subtle detailing it comes to the back and it also has the faux fur across the back as well too in terms of like some pros it just being a really nice fashion piece that I love to like wear with like nice outfits or even chill outfits. Um, but I will say a con about it, there actually is one, is I noticed this faux fur actually sheds. No, it actually doesn't come off like a lot or like if you pull it, it doesn't do that. But I noticed when I put my iPhone in the pocket, I have like a rubber case on my iPhone. So when I pull my iPhone back out of my pocket, um, some of the fur will stick to the rubber but other than that I haven't noticed it getting all over my clothes or anything especially because it's on the outside it's not like it's touching my outfit so it sheds ever so slightly that's the con like ever so slightly it's not to the point where it bothers me and I'm like give me a refund the way I would style this jacket is 
maybe the outfit I wore just the other day leather leggings and then with some like leather vet mall boots that I have and just like an oversized sweater it's like just an easy quick little fashion fit and oh and my chain flat bag from Balenciaga like that like I just feel on like it's something like that I just feel on another con is the fact that it doesn't have a drawstring along the waist I wish it had it so it can cinch um, around just like your hips and like your waist to kind of bring it in and have it more like bubble up a bit maybe that would there was a reason why they excluded that design element because I have a a spring style from them and it's short and bomber like this and it has that detail and I like that so I'm sure they must have had a reason for not doing that but I still wish there was a drawstring in here so I have the option to cinch it if I want to because it is roomy around that hip waist area. This jacket, I picked up my right size, which is a size two. I could fit into the size down, in the size one in this, but I just, I like the fit of the two. It's perfectly relaxed fitting. The sleeve length is nice. And I spoke about in my last video about how to look expensive for my casual cuties. And just sizing up gave me more of that fabric and that like, slouch look that just looks so effortless and I feel like the one was like a little too try hard the two just just fits nice the logo deck is new for this year it is currently going for I believe 2200 of course I have I will have everything linked down below in the description box drum roll please a 9 out of 10 it it hits all the bells and whistles for me it has more cons than the mocha but Overall, it being a fashion piece and it being warm and serving such a good purchase purpose, I'm super, super happy. And I think this is my favorite winter jacket in my entire collection at the moment. Actually, the last one is pretty good too. So. <laughs> the next piece that I have is an accessory. And it is this cute Montclair headband. Um, I actually bought this originally when I got the mocha jacket. Um, I believe pricing it was going for about four fifty around that time. Uh, this is like maybe two years ago now. A thick wool ribbed headband, and then it says Montclair in this kind of like velvet three dimensional like foam thing that they like. I don't know how they stuck that on. I don't mind an oversized logo too much, um, but I prefer it to be like all blacked out. Um, and it's just so cute. I love styling it like with my hair like. In a ponytail or half up half down you can actually watch my video on how I style thick curly hair with hats and I featured this I bought it with the mocha but I like the look of it with the logo deck jacket it's just it, it screams it's corny but it screams fashion and I just feel so on like I feel so on in both of these pieces together a one size piece this was made in Italy by the way and all the jackets I don't know if it matters I'll put where they're made in the description box below. Not all of their jackets are made in Italy. A pro for this is that like it's a really thick, warm, soft headband. Um, it's not itchy or scratchy on me at all. But a con is that it does, like lint does stick to it, especially like some of this like writing, this velvet writing. I can just take a lint roller and really like lint that out. It's starting to like pill a little bit, but that's a natural characteristic of wool. Like I'm completely fine with that. I can literally just pull off some of it or get one of those lint shavers okay no nothing in life is perfect i would rate it like a 9.7 like there's this headband doesn't give me any problems whatsoever it hasn't stretched out crazy like the only thing is that lint sticks to it but like that's inevitable like, it's such a good piece and i will link something similar down below because i believe this was a seasonal style for maybe 2018 this next jacket is the biggest one i own it's huge I'm sorry I said logo deck was cuter than you, but like you serve your purpose as well. It's called the Parneva. She is big and she is good. I just want to melt in it and it makes me feel like I'm wearing a duvet. I do not drive. I actually take the train and I take the bus and I'm someone who is freezing all the time. Bro, like in class I could fall asleep. <laughs> I could literally fall asleep in it and like wake back up and be like, super cozy i have so many nicknames for her like she's called the comforter i also call myself like a little burrito when i'm in it like she is so good and i love 
I just love everything. The beige interior gives the, the shiny kind of black finish a nice pop. This thing basically goes to my ankles. Um, it also features a removable hood like the mocha, but it doesn't snap off. It zips off all the way around. And then the standing collar is really nice to wear on its own as well. Classic logo on the arm. It has a full central zip. And again, this zipper can actually be zipped back up as well. Huge, like deep oversized pockets, which I still have the snaps in. I believe most Montclair jackets will come with additional snaps, like if they have buttons or whatever. It has these like little string, <laughs> this little string detail that says Montclair in beige as well too. I really like that detail, it's so cute. It has drawstrings like around the hood so you can like cinch it tighter so like no wind gets in, like literally. Oh, I have a photo of me like with the hood over. It's so deep, it's such an amazing hood. This, it also has like the snaps that flap over the zipper um, and add more warmth so like wind doesn't get through. But honestly, wind doesn't really get through with any of these jackets. Warmth level, crazy. I guess I didn't really speak about the warmth level of, of them. But this one would definitely feel the warmest because it's obviously longer. Next, I would say the logo deck and then I would say the mocha. The mocha is warm, but I just find some of the oversized styles just, I melt in and feel like even warmer. I don't know what it is. A pro for this jacket is again, that it has like the removable hood so you can have like two different looks for your jacket. And then on top of it, that it has the snaps that go down to the knee. Now. This jacket, the zipper stops around the knee. And at first I was really confused. I'm like, why on earth would they do that? But the snaps continue downward, so you have the option to keep them open or you can close them. Keeping them open kind of helps with more room to walk. To be honest, even when they're closed, I can still walk pretty well because it's an oversized jacket. So the reason why I like that they brought the buttons all the way down is sometimes when it's really gusty, like you don't want wind to like hit your knees or whatever. So the fact that you can still close it, um, it's nice even though they didn't carry the zipper all the way down a con for this jacket is i'm not gonna lie like it is annoying to get in and out of a car with this jacket <laughs> like you're just this huge sausage and you're like like rolling into the car other than that like it's such a warm piece like i overlooked that i wish it came with the option to wear a belt because they have another jacket that's like really long and it's called the hudson jacket and that jacket has, it comes with a belt. You have the option to wear one. And I wish they, they gave that to this. I want a belt. I stuck with my normal size, which is size two, and I'm more than happy. Again, I could also fit into the one like the logo deck, but the two just looks so good, like with it off my shoulder and like on my proportions, my height, my arm length and everything, two just makes me look good makes me look top notch <laughs> anyone can size down like a magnitude of sizing with this but it's intended to fit oversized so just get your true size the pricing of the parnaba it's a pricey one i bought it in 2019 and it was going for 2700 um they also brought it back again this year and it is still going for 2700 so there wasn't a price increase on it the only price increase jacket was the classic mocha jacket if you're someone who really likes this look like the beige interior or this oversized style of the parnaba um, and its simplicity as well but you don't like the length of the jacket it also comes in a shorter version called the piranha and there are also other colorway options which i will link down below for you while i would wear it with like a tracksuit or anything oversized i believe one of my favorite ways to wear it was i took a picture of of it like um the first year last year when i bought it and i just wore it with like a classic jeans like ripped jeans and like graphic tee look with like my product combat boots and it was just it was easy i would rate it as a 9.5 babe girl you are good to me you keep me warm you're like kind of classic looking but sorry i should speak to you up here you're kind of classic looking but you have a pop with your beige interior could be dressed up or down girl you good people were like oh tenille like sell your mocha jacket like now you have the parnaba like what's the point in having two long jackets but they serve different purposes mocha is slim fitting for the days i want to have that more like snatch look and parnaba is like oversized it's different i hope you guys enjoyed this winter jacket collection 
if you love Montclair and you'd like to see my spring jacket collection, make sure you subscribe <laughs> because I will be doing more Montclair videos. Also, make sure you watch these other videos that you may have missed. Follow me on Instagram so we can chit chat or whatever and click the bell so you know when I post new videos. I love you guys so much and take care.